Hey guys, I'm going to go through your concept map and show you how to access your test for today, Tuesday, April 28th. Before I actually do the concept map, I want to explain how you're going to get to your test. So you guys all have your school email addresses. If you don't remember how to get to your school email, I have shared the link for you. Um, if you were to go to remind and click my link or go to Great Falls High's webpage and go to plan book, I have all the instructions for you under Tuesday. So um, when you get to Tuesday, I have all this information about your test. Um, it is going to be timed. I'm using a Google Form add-on extension called Timeify. I have emailed you your test and you'll access it through your school email. So all you have to do is click this link, exchange, gfps.k12.mt.us. It'll ask you your login credentials, which I'm already logged in. And you can see right here, I have an email from Timeify Me. Let's show you what this is going to look like. So I will email each of you this test. Okay? Um, what you will do when you are ready is click open the form. And it'll give you a warning. This should say 60 minutes, not 30. Um, I need to edit that for you guys before I send it to you. I promise you'll have 60 minutes to take your test. But um, once you click this button, your time will begin. So make sure that you have set aside some nice time. You've let your family know you're taking a time test um, and that you can take it within your 60 minutes. So when you are ready, you will click open the form and it should take you to our normal looking Google Forms. And you can see the clock running down there at the top. As I scroll, I can see my time the whole time there. Now it's scrambled. Um, and so you're going to come into spots where I have like, you know, your, the check-in, um, you will also see this section that says submission ID. Don't type anything in there, leave it blank or your scores may not be counted. Um, try not to give you all the information of the test here, but because it's randomly scrambled, you'll get to like a random section where it asks you your class period and then randomly your last name in the middle of the test and then randomly your first name somewhere else. So when you are done, you will click submit as normal. Um, I'm not sure what happens if you actually close it out like I just did, um, but you'll obviously take the test and then go from there. Okay, so I wanna go over your concept map real quick with you. And um, message me if you have any questions, you need to clarify something, um, you could even give me a phone call if you needed to. Um, whatever you need, let me know. All right, so this is the last part here, our concept map. So the first thing, our digestive system is divided up into two main groups and two groups of organs. So the two groups is those that make up the alimentary canal or the GI tract, the tube. And then the other group is those accessory organs. So as we think about food moving through our um, GI tract, you're gonna do ingestion, it starts in the mouth. Then as you swallow food, it goes to your pharynx, then to the esophagus, then to your stomach, then to your small intestine and large intestine. Um, those have other structures inside of them. Some of those are accessory structures that are important. The main accessory organs we have written over here for nine through 12, the tongue and teeth in the mouth, also your salivary glands, very important for starch digestion, um, salivary amylase, and then those organs that produce many, many, many of our digestive enzymes, the liver and gallbladder, and probably the most important one, the pancreas. All right, 
Now, the functions of our digestive system, what does our digestion system do? Well, it, we eat. It's ingestion, um, mechanical digestion, which is breaking food into chunks. This is like cutting up your peanut butter sandwich with your teeth um, or mixing the food d due to segmentation in your body. That's mechanical digestion. Chemical digestion is chemically changing the form. So taking a disaccharide and breaking it apart into two monosaccharides would be chemical digestion. Propulsion is pushing food through the entire system. Absorption, probably the most important function, us absorbing the food and nutrients into our body. And then finally, excreting our waste through elimination. All right. Now, probably the hardest part to remember on this test is the different enzymes and what they break down. So I've been color coordinating things, and so I'm going to continue that here. So our carbohydrates, our sugars, we have done in pink this whole time. So these are the main ones, okay? These are the main ones to know. In our mouth, the carbohydrate enzyme that we release is salivary amylase, okay? That's a carbohydrate breaker downer. Okay. The pancreas is pancreatic amylase, um, and then the brush border, those are in the small intestine, those microvilli, they put out disaccharide ACEs. There's a variety of them, but those are what break down a disaccharide into a monosaccharide. Those are basically it, okay? the different carbohydrate digesting enzymes. All right. And then the protein digesting enzymes. In our stomach, the main one is pepsin, and we're doing purple for proteins here. In the pancreas, you don't have to have these memorized, but you should be able to pick them out of a list, like which one is not a protein digesting enzyme in the pancreas. We got tripepsin, chymotrypsin, carboxypeptidase, think pep, as in peptide, as in proteins, and elastase. Those ones you'll have to just be able to know from a list. They are protein digestion. And then the brush border also secretes enzymes to help break them down, aminopeptidase. And that has the kind of word pep and amino, both referring to proteins. And then fats, okay, fat digestion. Bio produced by the liver, stored in the gallbladder, it um, breaks down fats, oops, excuse me. <clears throat> it breaks down fats um, by emulsifying them. That is not the same thing as chemical digestion. It's just meaning it breaks them into smaller pieces. Once it breaks them into smaller pieces, um, the pancreatic lipase secreted by the pancreas is able to break down those fats into smaller pieces. Those are just the, the gist. Those are the main enzymes you need to know, okay? I wouldn't worry about anything above and beyond just those. And the major hormones that control the release of these different enzymes, our stomach produces gastrin, and gastrin is going to control the secretions of our stomach. And then the duodenum, there are three. We've got secretin, CCK, and GIP. GIP, remember, is gastric inhibitory peptide, which basically tells the stomach to sort of cool off what it's doing. But secretin and CCK went um, and stimulated the liver and the pancreas and the stomach um, with their hormones. That is a super short and sweet um, review here before your test. Um, message me if you have any questions. Remember, it is timed. And if you run into any issues at all, logging in, accessing the test, whatever, please, please email or let me know through Remind. Good luck. You guys will do great.